Well, hello, uh, Zebras community. I wanted to uh, make a video on a feature that's been very, very beneficial for me for workflow, speed, um, being able to create certain poly groups and group split them and things like that. So, there's a new control which is in your tool palette and it's under visibility. Okay? So, we have two some options with grow selection, shrink, and an outer ring. So, what I just did here is I took the demo soldier, which is normally 11 sub tools, okay, and I merged him just by simply going in the merge here of sub tools, merge visible. So now I have a merged mesh. I've also went ahead and I grouped the visible, the whole mesh. So now we have a mesh with one poly group. Now, Obviously, subtools is extremely beneficial, and the things you'll run into with certain projects is, oh no, I need to make these two shells separate meshes. Okay, so I can go ahead and try and select. I want to make this glove a separate mesh, but trying to work this way is extremely difficult, especially seeing that this glove has an outer and inside ring of polygons. So you can go to lasso and try that as well, and it's very time-consuming. So. The new grow and shrink process is great. I'm just going to select two faces and then I'm just going to grow out my selection now. So you can see that the grow selection is based on shell of geometry. So now I have this glove completely shown and I can group visible. So I use the shortcut there. So the grow is control shift X. Remember if you scroll over any button in ZBrush you'll get your actual shortcut and then holding down control and scrolling over you'll get the description of the button. Okay, shrink is control shift S and then outer ring which I will show you later is control shift O. So it becomes really handy to start now creating now I want to grab the wristbands and make them their own poly group. So control shift X I have the whole wristband group visible so now I have separate pieces of geometry for polygrouping so I can do a group split to make them separate subtools. It, it, it's also a really great tool for walking up and down things. So here we're just, I want to walk up the arm and then down the arm. So I'm just going to select here and now I can start walking up my arm okay and then I can shrink down my arm. So again I'm, hold, I'm using the shortcuts control shift X to walk up Control Shift S to walk down. And then of course you have your shortcuts here. Now what does Outer Ring do? Well Outer Ring lets you, if I have these selected, okay, now that I have an outer ring on both sides as well, once I click Outer Ring, okay, I'm going to only get the faces that are open on the other sides. What do I mean by that? If you notice, there's no other faces here, there's no other faces here, after these, after these. So that means I'm going to get these faces selected, these faces selected, these, and so forth. So that's what I get. So it becomes very handy for me able to, now, if I run into any issues, like, oh no, I need to separate these boots because I need to get more geometry in them, I want to make them separate subtools. Well, now I could just select a couple faces and then I can just grow out my selection select the whole boot, which I now have the whole boot selected, and then group visible, and now I have separate polygroup for my boots. This is also a great way, as you see, to be able to uh, make different polygroups per boot. So um, very, very, very beneficial, very easy. So this will definitely speed up some workflow for you, being able to create subtools and then also being able to just as you're working and sculpting be able to grow selections and shrink selections on your head you want to shrink down the body so very beneficial and uh, I hope you guys find uh, many more advantages to use it within your workflow